and we're back with another edition of Retro Gaming. In today's Retro Gaming, we're going to be talking about Bubble Bobble. Now, Bubble Bobble was released originally in an arcade cabinet in about 1986. In 1988, it was ported over to the Nintendo Entertainment System in the form we'll be seeing it today. Since then, it has seen several ports on two other systems. I believe the Wii had a port of it that you get through the shop. If it's not on the Switch yet, I'm sure it eventually will be. The basic idea of it is there's a hundred levels. You have to clear out the levels by encasing the enemies in bubbles and then popping the bubbles. And there's a hundred levels of this. And supposedly there's alternate endings. I've never gotten to the ending of this game. I think the furthest I've gotten into it is level 30-ish. I don't expect to get that far today, but we'll see. We'll see how far we can get. I'm only going to give myself a couple continues. But yeah, we're going to hop right in. We're going to see what we can do here. Now it is the beginning of a fan. Alright. Had a little mic problem there. First level's easy. And now I'll be filled with a bubble and brought down to the next level. And of course the last one always gets a little antsy. There will eventually be boss type fights. I'm not sure if I'll get that far today. Oh! As you can see it's also one hit kills. Oh, there it goes. Alright, let's see. Ooh, that was close. Now, ah. uh, if you leave them in there too long, they will eventually break out. Hey, I just got a one up. Sweet. And the further you go into the game, the less time it takes them to break out. It being that we're still really early on in the game, it's gonna. They're going to take a long time to break out. Some Wizro wannabes here. Let's see if I can get all these before. Nope. Missed one. Darn. Ah, nuts. There we go. <clears throat> Just enough time. All right, can't. Oh, come on. All right, and as you can see, the password system is really simple for this game, which is nice. 
Um, we're going to try and continue. Where we were. Oh no! Not a great. Ooh! I forgot that they could throw stuff at ya! I completely forgot that they could throw stuff at ya. Now you can also play two players on this game, and the two-player version is a co-op, so you're working together. Ah, let me get to it. There we go. <clears throat> so the reason I chose Bubble Bobble this week is I was out on a date. And me and my date were talking about the YouTube channel and I was talking about how I started this retro ah I was talking about how I started this retro part of my channel so I got to talking about retro games a little bit and she brought up Bubble Bobble she wasn't much of a gamer but she didn't remember this one so I figured oh, I haven't done Bubble Bobble yet maybe I ought to do that so here it is, Bubble Bobble. There we go. I gotta hurry up and get there, because that guy's about to break out. Oh no! Ooh, that was close. I almost died right away. Oh, come on. There we go. Some of these guys, when they get to be the last one, they get to be real pests, man. Do, 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 do. So this is a game, I'm not sure if it was one of the ones that was at my grandmother's. Because my, my grandmother eventually got a hand-me-down one of these for us kids to, to play while we were there on Sundays. I don't remember if this is one of the ones she got with that hand-me-down, or if it was one of the ones that my cousin had, or if we had it. I legitimately don't remember. It was probably either something where we owned it, or my grandma did, because we did play, we did spend a decent amount of time playing it. There it goes. And now I think I'm stuck. <laughs> I don't think I can get out of here. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> oh! Okay, I just hit some kind of warp that I didn't even know was a thing. So that... Alright. I have no idea what I just hit. Because I hit that warp, I gotta go again. That was weird. I don't. I've never seen that happen before.
There we go. Should be getting up pretty close to a boss fight here, I think. Oh. Alright, so I'm gonna have to get over there. Darn it. See this game's addicting. Once you get once you start into it, you just wanna keep going. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. Alright, so there's a, there is a way to double jump. Nice. Of course, I double jumped right into somebody. <clears throat> Alright, but I think you guys get the idea. I think that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Not a very long one. Um, this game, watching it, can be really, really repetitive because you go to just a different ver variation of screens and you get different enemies, but you're doing the same thing throughout. But it is very fun. It's very addicting. I could sit here and I could play and record this all day. But I think that's where I'm going to leave it. And I want to thank everybody for joining me and taking this little trip down nostalgia lane. I realized I was a little quiet today. I was trying to focus on the game because it does get kind of difficult. But yeah, uh, let me know in the comment section below what do you think of Bubble Bobble. Uh, have you ever played it? What are your thoughts on it? Do you like the game? Dislike it? Do you think it's fun? Do you think it's a waste of time? Do you have any memories of playing Bubble Bobble like I do with my cousin and my brother, uh, I believe at my grandma's on Sundays? Anyway, this has been Al. See you all next time.